Welcome to the simple neuroscience of dysgraphia. Dysgraphia is often a misunderstood condition. It can be explained as a dysfunction in the physical action of writing or spelling without reading deficits, although many people with dysgraphia also have a dyslexia diagnosis. People with dysgraphia may have difficulty with conceptualizing writing. This often appears as an issue with syntax and grammar. In some instances, individuals describe having a hard time thinking and writing at the same time. On the surface, it may seem as though this is a motor issue rather than a neurological one. But neuroscientists have shown that the issue lies in the brain, not the muscles. Typically, the motor areas of the cerebral cortex plan out a movement, such as writing, and then it is passed to the interior brain regions of the basal ganglia for motor initiation and then the lateral cerebellum for coordinated and automated movement. The cerebellum is typically thought of as the center for balance and motor learning, such as getting better at shooting free throws with a basketball. However, it's also important for the development of articulation, spelling, and writing, which are all actions that integrate higher thought and motion. Some scientists don't agree on the origin of dysgraphia in the cerebellum, and think perhaps it originated from the communication between the cortex and cerebellum. But overall, they agree that dysgraphia occurs in the absence of automated motor output. Thank you for watching!